I was making $220 a day as a brand new realtor. Fast forward to today and now I'm making $1,400 a day. I was a brand new realtor in a brand new state with no sphere of influence, no network built up in a global pandemic. And yet I still managed to become a top 1% realtor and the second ranked realtor in my entire company out of 88,000 agents. Now I bet you're wondering, how did I do it? The very first thing to focus on is pick a niche. You'll never succeed at the highest level if you're a jack of all trades and master of none. I recommend doing my rental strategy, but you could pick whatever kind of lead gen strategy that you want. Try a few different lead gen strategies and find the one that works best for you. After you pick a niche, you're gonna to wanna to spend all of your time and energy in that niche. That's what you're gonna be focusing on, nothing else. You'll be the expert in that field and everybody will come to you. Think of your business as a pyramid. You have the top of the pyramid up here and then it goes down to the base. At the base of your pyramid, that's where your leads are. Without your leads, you have absolutely nothing. I'll give you an example. If you choose my rental strategy where I'm doing up to 30 deals per month, making half a month's rent commission, getting about $2,000 per deal, then you're gonna focus on getting rental leads. The way I'm making $1,400 a day right now is I'm doing my Any Broker Advertise Yes strategy. So that's where I go in my MLS and I take Any Broker Advertise Yes properties and put them up on Facebook Marketplace. Now don't worry, if you don't have Yes as an option in your MLS, you can just go to the listing agents and ask them for permission. If they give you permission, take that listing from your MLS and then put it in Facebook Marketplace. This way, you're gonna start getting leads coming in, people asking you about that property, if it's available. So all you have to do is tell them, yes, it's available and then try and go and show that property. You want to get that property rented out. If you can't get that property rented out, no big deal, it doesn't matter. Put them in your MLS. So you're basically getting a client out of this. So for this rental strategy, you wanna put up a ton of different listings. You wanna have at least 50 to 100 plus listings up at any given time. In the listing, just say courtesy of the listing brokerage, drop your name, drop your phone number, email, your company, and tell them to contact you. And then that's when you start showing them the properties. And that's when you set them up in your MLS. So you get a client out of it. Doing this method, you're gonna get hundreds of leads coming in every every single day. Now, after you start showing them the properties, they're gonna find one or two that they really like. And then you're gonna start putting in offers. And then you're gonna wanna collect their rental application. That's gonna be their credit, background, and eviction report. Then you're gonna be collecting their proof of funds and their driver's license. For proof of funds, you can use anything from last three pay stubs to last three bank statements, to offer letters, to tax returns, anything would work. You just have to show three times the rent and income. After that, just write up your contract to lease and send the offer into the listing agent. Once a listing agent reviews it, they might call you to have questions, doesn't really matter. Either way, sit back and wait for the offer to get accepted. Once the offer gets accepted, the listing agent typically will write up the lease agreement, they'll send it over to you, get it fully executed, and boom, you're done. If there's an HOA, have the tenant apply to the HOA at this point, just send them the HOA application, and then collect the first month's rent deposit. It's always gonna be first, last, and security to move into a rental, you collect first month's rent when the lease is executed, and then last and security when they move in and get the keys. After that, that's it. You basically just sit back, relax, and then wait until until the final walkthrough. Once you do the final walkthrough, you meet everybody at the property, landlord, listing agent, yourself, tenant, and then all you do is walk through the property and make sure it's in the exact same condition it was when you did the showing. That's it. That's literally all I do. That's how I make $1,400 every single day. That entire strategy that I just told you, that produces $1,400 a day for me. And any realtor right now can do the exact same strategy. A little bonus tip for you, add a transaction fee to every single deal that you're doing. I charge $300 per deal that I'm doing, so that means when the tenant moves in, they give me an extra $300. Obviously made out to my brokerage, but that counts towards my commission check. That's how I get my average up a little bit higher every single deal. And think about it, if you're charging $300 per transaction fee, let's just say you're doing 20 deals per month, that's 20 times 300 bucks, that's $6,000 extra that you're making every single month. That's $72,000 per year that you're making extra just by writing a little number down on a piece of paper. If you thought $1,400 a day was great, well wait, until your rents are turned into buyers, that number is going to double. And even midway through some of my rental deals, my renters will turn into buyers. They're gonna say, hey, no, I actually changed my mind and now I wanna buy. That's how I do all of my purchases. I'm making a few hundred dollars extra per day from my renters turning into buyers midway through the process. I do zero marketing or advertising for buyers at all and I'm still doing anywhere from five to 10 purchases per year. Now there's a million different nuances that I do with all of my processes, but that's a general gist of how I'm making $1,400 every single day. Now, regardless if you're using my rental strategy or a different lead gen strategy, here are some tips that I use to become this successful. Get organized. 
Make sure that you have your scripts and your dialogues all written down in Word documents and clipboards and Google Notes, whatever you want to use, but make sure you're super organized. You want to be able to quickly copy and paste a script or a dialogue so you don't have to sit there and type out a whole bunch of different things over and over and over again. You want to streamline this process and make it as efficient as humanly possible. Make sure you're writing down all of your deals and you're keeping track of everything. Things are going to get really hectic and chaotic when you're doing this many deals. Unless you're doing luxury properties where you're making making $50,000, $100,000 per commission check, which is super rare, then you're going to have to do a lot of deals. When you're doing a lot of deals, things are going to go sideways. So you better stay organized. You better make sure your systems are dialed in. So as you scale up, you can have everything as efficient as possible. This way, you're not going to be scrambling around trying to find this document and that document and this person's text message and that person's email address. You're going to be able to find everything because everything is exactly where you put it in a neat and tidy order. Be responsive. Never let more than a couple hours go by before you're going to respond to somebody. I don't care if it's seven o'clock at night, pick up that phone, text them back, call them back, email them back, whatever it is. Do not let that much time go by before you respond to a client or a listing agent. The biggest downfall to realtors is they don't respond to people in a timely manner. There is no shortage of realtors out there. I think there's about two and a half million realtors just in the United States alone. So if you're not getting back to somebody, they will find somebody that does. Staying in constant communication can make or break your business. Don't sell the properties, sell yourself. Now, I know that might sound a little bit confusing. You never want to sell a property. When you're out there doing a showing, I don't care if you're doing a rental or a purchase, don't sell them on the property. They're gonna detect that you're trying to sell them something and their guard's gonna go right up. You don't wanna do that whatsoever. You just wanna break down the facts for them. You're there to facilitate the deal. You don't wanna push them into doing something that they don't wanna do. You can point out the positives and negatives of a property and give your opinion on it. The clients that you're working with will really appreciate your honesty and guess what? They're gonna stay way more loyal to you if you're loyal in return. You don't wanna sound like that sleazy car salesman that's just trying to push everything that they see onto them. That's not gonna be good for your reputation and that's not gonna be good for your business moving forward. Referrals. Make sure you're telling every one of your clients to refer you to their friends and family. This is going to make a world of difference. If you have all of your clients tell their friends and family, you're going to have a much bigger network of leads coming in. You're going to be getting business now from their network and not just your network. If everybody tells one person and that one person tells another person and that person tells another person, you're going to have leads coming in out of your ears. And remember, at the end of the day, that's the goal, getting as many leads as you possibly can. Follow-ups. This is a big one. Every single day, you're going to go back through the previous 24 hours of text messages and emails and phone calls, and you're going to respond to everybody that didn't respond to you. Say it was a lead. You reached out to them and they never got back to you. Well, just do a simple follow-up. Hey lead, it's Andy Coleman. I'm just following back up. I actually specialize in rentals and get 30 people accepted a month. If you don't have a realtor, please reach out to me and I can definitely help you out. That's all you have to say. You will add 20 to 30% to your business just by doing follow-ups every single day. CRM, three letters, learn them, Stick to them, use them wisely. This is to stay in contact with everybody that you talk to. Any single lead or client that you've gotten, put them in a database and start sending them a weekly email. Doesn't matter what the email is, you just wanna be top of mind. That's the whole goal of this. Just make sure that all of your clients and all of your leads that you've talked to, they remember you. This way, when they go to buy or rent or sell, who do you think they're gonna think of? They're gonna think of you. Make a friend. Just be as friendly as possible and buddy up with people. If you start becoming friends with people, guess what? They're gonna stay way more loyal. A friend doesn't wanna hurt your feelings and doesn't wanna disrespect you by going to a different realtor. So when you're talking to your clients or even listing agents, just be as friendly as you can. And trust me, this will make a massive difference because this way your loyalty rate's going to be way, way higher. So they're not going to leave you for another realtor. Listen to all of my advice and there will be nothing stopping you from making $1,400 or more every single day, just like me. There's nothing special about me. We all drink the same water, breathe the same air, and eat the same food. If I can do it, you can too. I hope everybody liked the video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment below, and I'll catch everybody in the next one. Wow, that was f***ing great. Whew, I did good there.